Fascinating with fungi, Gordon Walker here. I am wandering around in the woods in Sonoma and I got really lucky because we found ourselves one of the world's great mushrooms. This is the Kokora or Amanita calyptoderma. These are large fleshy Amanitas and there's a certain mystique to these because these are mushrooms that you can get very wrong. If you misidentify one of these and eat uh, the wrong species, you could die because the lookalikes for this mushroom are very toxic. They contain amatoxins. Uh, but these calyptodermas, uh, Amanita calyptoderma, the Kokora, is a safe mushroom to eat if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you guys some of the defining characteristics that help you tell what a Kokora mushroom is. So the first thing to look out for is this dark yellow color. A lot of There's a lot of other yellow Amanitas, but they're much brighter yellow. This is a very dark, almost golden brown color. Uh, they have a thick white skull cap or membrane that peels off easily. So this is very important. Almost all Amanitas that are edible have a membrane that will peel off like this instead of just little white dots that you can rub off. This is like a solid membrane you can peel off. So that's a really good defining characteristic you can use to help recognize this mushroom. Another thing you'll see on these edible Amanitas is striations all the way around the edge of the cap. And these striations are visible from the time that it's a tiny little egg up until it's a fully mature mushroom. Uh, so that's a really important thing to look for. Another thing you want to do with these Amanitas, just to be sure, is to go down into the duff and dig them out by the base. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to isolate the vulva, which is sort of the base or the egg that these mushrooms pop out of. And the reason I want to do that, because I want to look at the size of this vulva. So you can see down here, there's sort of the little egg where the mushroom grew out of. Uh, and this vulva for the most part, and the, the, the base of this mushroom, is pretty thin, it's pretty skinny. Um, there's some other ones out there, like the Ocreata and the Phylloides, which are the toxic lookalikes for this mushroom, that have a more bulbous base. And so this is a fairly thin base that's in line with the stipe. And uh, so I'm gonna peel some of this stuff away and just leave this in the woods, but I was able to identify. And here you can see better that the, the stem is really sort of uniform in size all the way down as opposed to becoming a big bulbous base. Uh, so that's that's an important defining characteristic. I'm gonna trim the very base off here since this is a mycorrhizal mushroom. I'll just plant that back into the soil. But some of the things we're looking for is this little bit of an annulus or skirt here. That's slightly yellowish and it'll peel off. This has cream-colored gills, um, and they're fairly fairly strong. You can rub them quite a bit without them breaking, necessarily. Uh, and so that's that's something you can do to make sure you don't have a, a rustla by accident. Rustla gills will break. Um, this is a, a fairly meaty mushroom. It's got a nice, solid thump to it. Uh, definitely when I get these home, I rub them completely with a vegetable brush. I don't, you know, I don't shy away from water. You can get these things pretty waterlogged and they'll still cook up nice and crispy. So this is a mushroom that people will occasionally prepare raw, cut very thin slices and put a little oil and vinegar on, turn it into sort of a carpaccio. Um, I would prefer to cook this mushroom. In fact, I don't love the flavor of this. I think it's okay. Uh, so what I want to do with this is actually to boil it and then potentially put it in sort of a, a ceviche or some sort of acidic marinade and then maybe use it as a, a component in salads or as a side side dish kind of thing. But this is one of the world's great edible mushrooms, as I said. Uh, it's very highly sought after by Italian immigrants in particular, but it's not a beginner mushroom. This can kill you if you mess it up. So it's really important to understand the features uh, of, these, of these mushrooms before you ever try to eat them. But they're mycorrhizal here, probably with some of the tan oaks and maybe some of the uh, other trees that are in the woods. I don't really know but it's a nice big mushroom, beautiful golden top, and uh, excited we found this. So 
This is the Kokora Amanita Calyptoderma. 